In Praxit, solve check 7.35 array mystery 2D, where we're given a method right here. We're past an array, we're past a two dimensional array, and we're asked if a two dimensional array named numbers is initialized to store the following integers, what are its contents after the call, which is this one shown? So, what are its values going to be? Let's look at this array and then determine what numbers we are going to have inside of here. So, what we are going to do is first look at our method right here right we're just passed in the array so it's pretty simple in that regard look at this first for loop typically mean we have two for loops we have one to look at the rows and one to look at the columns and when we have a two-dimensional array it's basically um, this one has values in it but if we just wanted to declare it we could set it to a, a new int where we have the rows and then we have the columns here. And the rows, we could specify as three, and the columns we could specify as four. And this first line, we want to run it as long as r for rows is less than a dot length. a dot length signifies just the row, so a dot length here is three, meaning we're gonna run through all three rows. Now the next for loop is for our columns, so a at index zero dot length, we're basically starting at the 0th index here, we go through all the rest of these, so it's going to be 4, but it's minus 1, so this is also going to be 3, just because of that minus 1. That gets the length of our columns. Now we have this if statement here, and it's essentially saying if our next index is greater than our current set of index, then our current index is equal to the next index. Now that can be a little bit tricky, wording-wise, but We'll go through this and we will um, explain it. So first thing we're going to do is start out with indexes 0. So that means for here inside of the if statement we're going to start off with 0 and then 0 plus 1 which is 1 and then this has to be greater than index 0 and 0. So let's look at this. Index 0 1 is this 4 right here. So we'll have 4 and it has to be greater than this index at 0 0 right. So we are going to have 4 greater than 3. If this is true, well, our current index is equal to our next index. Our next index is 4. Our current index is 0, 0. So now 0, 0 is 4. We're going to do the same when we compare the next two. So let's look at this. We increment all our C, right, because we're going through this for loop again. So now we should have 0, 2, greater than, and then 0, 1. Well, 0, 2 is going to be 5. And 5 is greater than 4, right? So 5 being greater than 4, we now have to say that our current index is 5, because it's greater than. And we're going to continue this trend. So the next one is going to be 0, 3, has to be greater than 0, 2. And if we look at this, 0, 3 is going to be the 6, and 0, 2 is going to be our five right here, right? Because zero, one, two, five right here. Um, so we'll have six and five. Six is greater than five, so our current index is six. And that's going to be it. Um, we're not really going to touch this next one because remember the array length, right? It's, it's uh, the entire length is four, but stop at three. So we're pretty much done here. Um, if we were to do this, it would be index zero, four, greater than and then 0 3 but again we're not we don't need to do that um, I don't believe because this is all stopping at 3 right C has to be less than 3 and we've run through this 0 times 1 time and then we've done this our second time so this would be C being 3 um, so we don't need to look at that so essentially what we're saying here is that this can be 6 and we can look at the previous ones and Knowing what we know here about this array, all, all we know, or what we do know, is that if our next number is greater than our previous number, or our current number, our current number is going to be the next number. So between these two, 4 and 5, 5 is greater than 4, so our current index is going to be 5. That's the element it's going to store at that index. Now, um, if this is 5, 5 and 5 are the same right but we're not comparing these we're going to compare this one right 
zero one with zero two, and we can see that. Um, or I'm sorry, this one is uh, one zero, and then this should be one 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 two, and then one three. So one one right, it's um, less than one two, and since one two it's greater than that right we can say that since this next one is greater than the previous one six being greater than five or previous one is going to be this six so at one one we are going to have six and we can compare the next ones so between six and seven so one two and then one three we know that one three is greater so the next one is greater than our previous or current one and so that means that our previous or current one is going to be equal to seven and we're not going to look at the last one because this is the third column and we stop at three and this is going to be seven so for the next one so if we fill out all of our values right here just using that knowledge i hope you understand it if not you can watch it over one more time we would press submit pass all of our tests and that is how we would do the self-check 7.35 for the array mystery 2d